Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search. Alright uh, guys, uh, we're out back here in Texas. Uh, we're in between um, Commerce and Atlanta, Texas. Uh, some known sighting locations. Um, you know, it's almost dark here. It's about the time of a recent uh, 2019 location. Um, someone actually pulled off the main road, turned around, and actually saw a uh, squatch in its uh, rear view mirror. Um, pretty interesting. Um, it was he was actually passing another car to give you a little more story on it all. Uh, and once he passed the car, he actually. Um, felt like he needed to turn around um, because or actually get off the main road because they passed a highway uh, patrol person and uh, once he got off the main road kind of like we are here um, turned around and he saw Squatch in his rear view mirror um, and he actually uh, said it was black in color but six feet uh, uh, I'm sorry yeah, about seven again high. He had to get turned around here uh, but yeah he, as if he saw it in the rear view mirror uh, and then it just slowly crossed the road uh, it was black uh, according to BFRO they did an investigation on it and they just they realized that uh, you know he did actually see something he seemed very apprehensive and nervous about it we'll actually put the report down below here um, so you can uh, you know check it out for yourself see what you think but uh, again fairly recent back in Texas but more East Texas uh, really wanted to get closer to the exact location but we just ran out of time today unfortunately guys but uh, again kind of back at it uh, very interesting the other uh, uh, there's a couple other sightings mostly roadside sightings in this area um, one was a non BFRO group that did a um, investigation in Commerce, Texas, and they actually um, went to the main road, uh, or I'm sorry, they, there was a sighting off one of the main roads. It was kind of maybe three or four miles back off the beaten path and um, near a train uh, station, a railroad, railroad station. And they actually um, did a complete investigation out there, and it was very, very interesting as well. So we'll keep you posted, and thanks for watching. We'll keep on squatching when we can. Hey, guys, uh, it's a report 62926. <clears throat> Found a very interesting report, uh, mainly because it's pretty recent uh, report out of Texas, uh, May of 2019. Uh, this person uh, was driving down the road uh, he was uh, like early evening hours uh, late to work and he was uh, traveling outside of Atlanta Texas which is uh, kind of East Texas commerce area uh, pretty much a known sighting location area if you will um, there's some other reports that are um, in the commerce area uh, and then you know further north that whole corridor uh, all the way up into Oklahoma there's quite a few reports but uh, this one in particular he was driving along and he went to he was late to work and he went to pass a uh, somebody towing a uh, boat that he felt was going, you know, well below the speed limit, and, you know, and went to pass him and uh, said he got up to over 85 miles an hour and knew he was in the wrong when he saw a state trooper approaching from the other way. <clears throat> so he decided to just kind of quickly get off the highway to try and avoid a ticket, probably. Um, anyhow, he got off the beaten path and... Uh, so I think it was CR575. Uh, don't quote me on that. Check 
check the link in the article below. Um, <clears throat> and then you can see the video running is the actual, uh, uh, some of the footage we took near this location, not, not exactly, but near it, uh, actually between Commerce and, um, between Commerce and Paris, Texas, or I'm sorry, Commerce and, Commerce and Atlanta, Texas. So near to where this happened, uh, again, 2019. So he pulled off the beaten path and uh, <clears throat> he turned around, was trying to head back up to the main road. And he looked in his rear view mirror and about 75 feet behind him, he said he saw a, uh, basically a seven foot black haired Sasquatch that uh, didn't seem, you know, uh, startled by him, you know, and his car, um, <clears throat> just kind of walked at a fairly normal pace, he called it, across the road and not hurried, and then went off into the wood line. The BFRO investigator, uh, who interviewed him felt like he was, uh, very kind of frazzled by the uh, sighting, you know, like some are, you know, rightfully so. You see, uh, it's not every day where you see a seven foot, you know, I think he said 400 pound, but more than likely an 800 pound Sasquatch, you know, just walking through the basically tree line and over the road, you know, that's not a common thing. So, um, and, you know, the way he made it sound like he was, it was very believable to him. Um, and the eyewitness went on to say that he never, he just never went back to that area. He, you know, uh, I don't know if it's because he kind of had that feeling of maybe possibly dread or uh, just, we've heard that before from other witnesses too, where they, they just kind of never want to go back to where they, it happened because I think they get so... Uh, you know, visibly upset, so shaken by the experience, they just uh, uh, don't want to ever experience it again. Some go back. Um, I know for myself, although I didn't actually have like a class A where I actually saw one, hopefully one day, uh, but uh, you know, it was uh, more of a class B type sighting. Um, I would definitely go back there again to try and prove it out, if you will. Um, and you know, I, I actually look forward to doing, hopefully, a nighttime investigation uh, with our whole crew up there at some point. But, uh, again, the one for today was from, um, you know, Texas, uh, near Atlanta, Texas, uh, kind of the east side. Uh, some of the ones we've done before have been more <clears throat> central uh, or north Texas, if you will. So hopefully we can do some more back out this way again. Uh, it'd be great to do that. Um, there's uh, looks like there's some new sightings happen out out this way, so that's just great. And we'll try and get to as many as we can. You guys have a great day and uh, keep on squatching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with you.